Um, obviously, this is not an episode episode. Uh, this is like a little bonus clip. Um, the reason why we're recording this, and what, the reason why I'm not including, we're not including it in the last week's episode, is and making or making it this week's episode is because I feel like, um, not because I feel like people will be t- tired of hearing about this this topic. Because like, I mean, if you're tired about hearing this topic, imagine how tired the people living there are, are feeling in it. Um, but the reason why I wanted to just like get a special, I guess like a like a specific bonus clip out for this year is because I'm kind of hurt by the things I've seen on social media recently. Um, and I don't, listen, at this point, I don't need to introduce myself. AB don't need to introduce himself because this is the people who have been listening. In it. This is to our friends and our family. This is to the people who we know in real life, real life. And anyone else who's listening, just take my advice or like listen to what I have to say and, and deep it. But this is mostly directed at the people I, think, I feel like I know in real life. Uh, and just people have on social media and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> in the last two episodes, ABA, obviously you've been in the last two episodes because we're the cohorts, right? Yeah. Um, and the last two episodes, I, I have been the guy to be like, oh, let's not shame people into activism. If they want to talk about something, they can talk about on their own accord. Like, there's no point in guilting people into it. Like, you, that's my stance on most things, right? Like, I'm very liberal. You do what you want. Mm. Sorry. <clears throat> but recently... I don't know how to explain it because with me, like as I as I've said so many times to AB, I don't care what people post on their story. I don't care if like if 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 I have an issue going on, yeah, and you don't post it on your story, I don't feel like I have a, you have a you have an obligation to post whatever I want you to post. Mm. You know, you have autonomy autonomy over yourself. What does hurt though, yeah, is when I can sense people hesitating to speak about Palestine for specific reasons that I'm pretty sure I know. What are the reasons? Because when I sense that hesitation, I'm like I'm looking at people who I know would jump for activism at any time. You know, if there's an issue going on in the world, they're the first people to talk about it. They'll, they'll you know, they'll, they'll, they'll raise awareness. They'll be like, "What can we do?" Da, 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 all that stuff. Like they've, they've got so much energy and effort, and I love it. It's great. It's a really, really good thing, right? And then when I see people hesitating to have that same energy for for Palestine yeah because I remember last week last week's as well saying like let's not make comparisons between different raising different awareness and stuff yeah but when they when it comes to I see you hesitating for certain reasons and I will go into those reasons I know I keep saying certain reasons but I will go into those reasons because it's a whole thing when I see people hesitating for certain reasons as a Muslim personally that hurts man I can't lie and at the end of the day Oh God, I'm joking, I'm joking. At the end of the day, like when it comes to like these cultural signifiers or these like identity signifiers, the only one I have in common with the Middle Eastern people is that uh, the people in Palestine is that I'm Muslim. Yeah, you know I mean, I, I'm not Middle Eastern and I'm not from Palestine. So imagine how your Palestinian friends or your Middle Eastern friends must feel when they see you hesitating to post because of the because of the same reasons that I'm thinking of as well. Do you know what I mean? And their their families are dying or the people in Palestine. It's not like this is linked to what I want to say, yeah. But it's not like they they don't ex- it's not like they don't exist on social media. The Palestinian people are there. Mohammed Al Kurd is a Palestinian who lives in Palestine, and he's posting and he's leading this movement from Palestine. It's not like we're watching from the outside and they're locked off from us and they don't know what's happening out here. They can see when you hesitate. They can see when you say, "Oh, it's too complicated." They can see when you want to play a little bit of like when you want to toe the line a little bit. You know what I mean? They can see that. They're not, they're not random. They're not nothing, if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Mm. They're not, they do exist. They are there. They're not just numbers on, on a news report. They're there. They're real people. And that's, that's the issue I have, yeah? Is that this week, I've been seeing a lot of people, what's it called? Um, a lot of school kids go to school and just say the words free Palestine or like have a Palestinian flag out or, ha- or put one kid put free, the words free Palestine on his mask. I don't know if you've seen that video or this audio actually. No. But there's a kid in a school in Rochdale and he's recording being told off by two teachers, right? He on his mask he wrote Free Palestine. Just those words, Free Palestine. Yeah. First of all, he's in the he's in the classroom, he's in the office, and he's being screamed at. Like it's on my story. Obviously, it's not my story right now, but I hope everyone who I know has listened to that. Yeah, because it's on my story. This is two teachers bullying a child. He doesn't, he doesn't sound like he's any older than year nine. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? If that was me, I can't lie, I would have cried. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I would have sat there crying because mm-hmm. confrontation ain't for me, in it. 
and and you watch that and you think damn like these kids are being bullied into saying into like not speaking up and then then you think to yourself yeah what did he say wrong the words free palestine mm. what is so wrong about that i can't even think i can't even begin to think if there's anything wrong with that and it, what the issue comes from is this idea that because AB, for us yeah even for us when we went to school yeah when I was, as we said last week or the week before, when I was in school, I, I was sent out of class for having a Palestinian flag on the table and told I can't have an opinion. But there was people in my class fully riding for Israel. Like fully, Is fully like, bro, I'm not going to name names yet because maybe their views have changed and, and obviously I'm not going to out them. They're not here to defend themselves or whatever. Yeah. But there's been people who were in my class in history and then on the way back home, even though I wasn't even interested in having that debate because I knew what I thought in my head, yeah. And I wasn't like, I'm not a debating person in it, even though I do, I do it weekly. Yeah. I'm not like a debating person. You know me now. I don't like confrontation in it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm on the box and this guy is just going at me. He's like saying, da, 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 like, oh, Israelis deserve to be there, blah, blah, blah. If you lose the war, you, you deserve to like not be there anymore. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, and then it's, it's clear, and the teacher's not said nothing in it. Uh, so I remember that being sent out of history class and told that I can't have an opinion on this. Who is your history teacher? The thing is, I don't want to get her in trouble because. She was very nice about it, if that makes sense. So I feel like it was one of those things where she was kind of scared of like anything controversial being said or, or her job, even though I don't feel like it is controversial to have a Palestinian flag. I think uh, I think as a teacher or like or as teachers, I think is um it's best for them to stay neutral, isn't it? Than yeah. to take sides. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm just playing I'm just playing uh, doubles advocate. Uh, yeah, know. best for them to stay neutral, but then in a lot of these clips that we've seen, yeah. Yeah, These yeah, teachers yeah. are not staying neutral. Yeah. There, one we bro, we seen it from our old school. I'm not gonna name names because I don't want to cause legal troubles for the kid that recorded this year. But anyone who goes to our school has probably seen that video of that teacher saying that one Israeli life is worth more than a thousand Palestinian lives. That stupid prick. Yeah, and then in the office, you're told you have to be neutral. So a teacher can say something mad like that, yeah, but the kid is told they have to be neutral. <laughs> that that per see see the teacher who said that he needs to be neutral, yeah. She she deserved to get fired four decades ago, fam. But what's she done? Yeah, she's a mess. I'm not gonna say anything, but I heard I heard she's I heard she's been a menace through three or four different generations. Bro, it's brazy, bro. Bro, since when my like my older cousin like was yeah, since, was in um was in high school. Since before we were in high school, man. Um, but yeah. Anyway, um, when we when he told us that like. He also went to school there in the 80s. Oh, yeah. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and as I swear, he's at like 34 or something now. Yeah, yeah. But that's five generations. Well, he's a grown man with kids and everything in it. We'll have to bleep out the things that I said. But like, just oh know, we met someone God. one time and we, he was like, what school did you go to? And we told him the school we told. And he's like, oh, do you, remember, do you know this teacher? And we were like, yeah. And she's like, he's like, is she still like? And then we were like, you know, and th- bear in mind, this guy went to left school like in the, he was, went to school in the 80s, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, but no, no, no. Like coming back to it, yeah, because there is like a point I want to make. Like I'm, I'm actually hurting it. Because yeah, what, what reminds me of you know all these kids that are getting told off for like being pro Palestine in school, yeah. It reminds me of a few different things, and I'm, I, I'm gonna copy off my story in it because I feel like I wrote it quite well in it, mm-hmm. and I feel like it would be easier for me to just read what I wrote. I felt like, emotional seeing a story still. I can't lie. I felt emotional. Well, I there was a couple. You know the 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 video that I posted after it. The Hassan Minaj one. Yeah, bro, there's there's a couple of times where I shed a tear, you know. Yeah. To yeah, think yeah. like that that's how we'll get onto it. We'll get onto it. Cause I want to like have it in chronological corner. Um, but bro, so obviously Loki tweeted, I feel so sad for these children getting bullied by teachers in school British schools for the crime of empathizing with Palestinians. They are taught to cross their instinctive aversion to uh, pe- seeing people suffer. Highly advanced killing machines are not natural. Empathy is. Yeah, and seeing seeing all these kids get bullied, yeah, or by teachers. For having these, um, for being active, for partaking in activism, basically. Yeah. I remember I wrote, because it really h- hits home for me, yeah, because we even know. So, f- first of all, I already said that we got, I got kicked out of history class. It reminds me of the times we used to get like targeted prevent talks about, like, oh, you know, be careful what you see on the internet. This, you know, like there might be some things that make you feel emotional, they might drive you to do certain things, blah, 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 all that stuff. And they always used to be targeted at certain people in form as well. You know what I mean, it also, it also yeah. reminds me. Who were? Brown or Muslim. 
Um, or um, especially boys as well. I can't lie. I can't lie. The two times, uh, the two like um, uh, reasons why, why like the brown kids or the Muslim kids, yeah, that was in that went sixth form with us lot, got that talk here, yeah, was for the 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 Muslim thing, like the the terrorist thing, <laughs> and to stay away from me. <laughs> so, man, and, and and like just going off that as well, it also reminds me. Of, you know this is AB Because you were with us In the trenches I like uh, uh, That made it sound Kind of mad At school yeah. He was with us we, In we the there, struggle I was, there, I, was there, I was there For the struggles man In six room We bro The amount of times We used to Like you, you used to Chill with us bro in, in, in the prayer room The amount of times The teacher used to Like look through the door And be like yeah. What are these men doing Or like she'd come in And be like Oh you keep it down Or like Or Sometimes she would say To the To the imam Who was leading the prayer Speak louder So I can hear what you're saying Or She would say Pray in English so I know what you're saying. Yeah, Do you know what I mean, yeah. how, how can the khutbah be in English? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or there was times where they wanted to close it down. They would look for little reasons like, oh, it's, it's, it smells a bit weird or like, or, or you guys shouldn't be there by yourselves, that kind of thing, to try to close it down. That and was the main reason why they're using, you know, that, oh, you're like, it's no teacher supervising that. You can't be in a classroom by yourself and that. Yeah, and then well, there was a teacher with us, remember? He was praying with us as well. Well, six one was brother. So what are these, yeah. what are these guys talking about, man? And they they constantly trying to get the clo- uh, prayer room closed, yeah. And you know, after we left, because the younger years, they bless them, they weren't like vocal enough. They got it closed down, fam, because because a kid in Preston Manor got like went to like uh, Syria or some shit in it. So they closed down our prayer room. What, what, for what reason? You know what I mean? Oh my God! Listen, you know, what, you know, you know what else? That, that's got younger siblings, or if you if you go Kingsbury, um, Kingsbury, yeah. Please okay. fight. Don't say, get... don't, say, don't say the name because we said some other stuff in it. But I think the prayer room is back open. Yes, that's what we like. Um, what... you know what else it reminds me of? I don't know if you remember there was that one time where it was like me, you, MH, and other basically other people in it. We we're talking about like the Walking Dead and football and stuff like that. Teacher came up to us and said, "What is this? A terrorist meeting?" As a like, she thought it was a joke. But now that I, and when I was a kid, I thought like, "Oh, maybe she's just joking, whatever." Yeah. But now that I'm deeping it, how can a teacher come and say that to, to yeah, a yeah. bunch of boys just sitting there? Talking about football. Yeah. Do you know how mad that is, fam? Like, yeah, it's, it's mad, so. she said, we're, She said we're having a terrorist meet. It's, bro. I, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's mad. It's funny. I can't lie. It's funny, bro. It is funny. Like, because it's us. Like, if, if it happened to someone else, I would be pissed off. But you know, you know, it's, us, it's, it's, it's funny in isolation, yeah. But then when I started to deep it with all these things surrounding it, yeah. Put it this of, way if, if, if that teacher said it to one of the younger years, I would be pissed. Even like the year year below us, I would have been pissed. But because it's us that our group, because I know, because I, I know, I know, I know my man. The minute, mm. like we would just be like, yeah, cool, like whatever. Yeah. You know like, we yeah, wouldn't. Like, even we wouldn't at really the same time, like if, if if in isolation, yeah, it's calm, it's funny. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, all the stuff that's happened to us and all the stuff that happened to kids all around the country, yeah. you must think like, oh, this is mad, isn't it? And I'm this. This is what I think, yeah. Because the reason why they do this is because obviously. They're worried that like kids are gonna get radicalized and stuff. And yeah, that is true. You know, children should be like protected from dangerous like narratives and rhetoric from social media and the internet and stuff. Yeah. Well, everyone's but, everyone's subject to that. What you happens know, though is kids. what happens though is that this this fear it becomes weaponized as something called Orientalism. Have you heard of Orientalism before? Oh come on, bro. Big up Edward Said. Yeah. Jeez, come on, that's my guy. You know, Edward, Edward Said. Bro, yeah. He's a G, bro. You know how many Edward bro? Said. You know how many times I, I referenced him in my in my work, so I'm he's a G. Yeah, and for for anyone who doesn't know what Edward uh, Edward Said and Orientalism is, yeah, it's this idea of like places in the Far East or like the Middle East, and that being perpetuated in our head are so different. Like we have an exaggerated idea of what they are to the point of where we don't even think they're they're human beings at the end of the day. Like they're just they're just like an Oriental thing out there in the East, um, and then this becomes so like weaponized. That it makes you think that the lives of like Palestinians and Mid- Middle Eastern people in, in Middle Eastern countries are just numbers, as if like ch- all of us, including the school children who are getting emotional and saying free Palestine, shouldn't mourn these deaths. They're not just numbers; they are human beings. Do you know what I mean? We're, we're like, yeah, we should protect our children, but are the children that our children are mourning not also children? Are they not human beings? Do they not? Do they not? Do they not have aspirations like our kids do? Do they not have? souls like our kids do do they not have parents like our, our kids do do they not have siblings like our kids do do they not have lives like our kids do do they not have friends like our kids do well i saw this one picture that broke me yeah there was like these two i think they were siblings yeah 
um, and they found like a like a like a little fish in the rubble farm. Yeah, I saw that. Um, farm. It's emotional, but I do feel like people talking about it often is that like, something is will come out of it. Like even if it's something small as like. Um, Pick up all the pick up all the youths that are standing up. Like yeah, um, there is a there is a like a when I went to the protest yesterday, there was this someone from Men in it, this, this uh, like organization that helps uh, fight against Islamophobia in it. Um, there's a there's, it's called iru.mend.org.uk. If you go to that website, if you have been, if your school has given you detention or like suspended you for saying free Palestine, you can contact them and they will fight your case for you. So yeah, go to that website now. Yeah, man. Um, but even even if something small as like kids just standing up to what they believe in, like that yeah. activism, because this it's idea, I'll say, go on. It's something in it because like from when we like when me and you were in school, mm. you were getting sent out a thing about our history class, people um, calling us terrorist means, saying that we're doing um like in terrorist means and that, yeah. Yeah. To um someone calling out a school that the same school that we went to. I'm so and like the school and the school coming out with an apology for that is still progress. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's taken yeah. like like ten years, it's still yeah. progress. Isn't literally, it? You get me? literally ten years, bro. We yeah, bro. we left. We left school. Ago, yeah, G. We we left high school ten years ago, bro. High school, not sixth form, but high school. We finished high school ten years ago. I'm, um, bro. Honestly, seeing these kids like stand up for themselves and like yeah, bro, it makes be, me be proud. Firm in a beef, well, it makes me so yeah. proud of it because so, I would, bro, I would, I would, I would crumble. I can't lie. It's, nah, but not, <laughs> not with me by his side. Now, come no, on, I'll, I'll in the young man. And I think, I think what's what's good as well. I'm really glad that they they're doing this in a in an yeah. age where you can record shit. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So like, if a teacher tries anything like that, like, I have this recording yeah. of you moving mad, yeah. you saying something mad. Um, yeah, but as I was saying, like this idea of Orientalism, yeah, the idea that like having empathy for lives in the Middle East suddenly means you're radical. Yeah. Yeah. And now I'm talking to forget the school children, yeah, because now I'm talking to the people I know in real life as well, yeah, because it is the exact same Orientalism, this idea that Middle Eastern lives or Palestinian lives aren't the same as losing our own lives here. It causes a lot of you to hesitate to even think free Palestine, yeah, let alone say it out loud, as if as if the idea of people being free is somehow dangerous or controversial. Mm. Deep deep that for a second, yeah. People think that a group of if a group of people are free from oppression from a, apartheid from death from blockades from siege from unemployment that that's dangerous and controversial yeah oh. in what world could that be classified as dangerous and controversial clearly ours isn't it furthermore the same orientalism is what makes our parents worry for us when we take part in activism how many times have you had when you want to go to a protest or you want to speak up or you want to do this now you're going to you're going to get put on a list or now you, you won't be able to get future jobs but have you ever like i know obviously we have like a uh, we have obviously have white listeners and and sometimes i feel like I, it might feel like i'm ragging on white people in it but i feel like sometimes there are facts that you have to accept i've never heard a white person say like they can't be activist or they can't talk up or anything like that maybe there are cases yeah but not to the extent that we've been told or like muslim people have been told like you can't care about things do you know what mm. i mean because <sighs> this idea yeah I've, and i feel for our parents as well yeah because when they tell us not to get involved in activism yeah i wrote i wrote a quote in it i feel like it's all right so i'm gonna put it uh when they when they tell us not to get involved in activism, yeah, it's because all their lives have been taught that their citizenship is conditional to their complicity, and that passiveness is a prerequisite to the, our presence in this country. Do you know what I mean? Jesus Christ! Do you know what I mean? Well, like this, Carl like, Marx, you know. Same <laughs> don't say that. This this because this idea, yeah, that like, oh, you know what? We're guests in this country, so like, if if the, if an issue happens to us, as long as it doesn't like kill us and as long as it doesn't put us out of job and it doesn't all that stuff yeah mm. we'll put up with it it's whatever do you know what i mean because bro the amount of arguments i had recently with my dad yeah with because obviously last week i said that bob blackman that motherfucker blocked me in it yeah and i remember bob I, you, you remember i was fuming i was just thinking like this is my local mp and he silenced me like this like i've not said anything mad to him i just want to talk to him and i want my 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 like 
my opinions to be represented or even just to have that conversation like just have clarification on why he's saying certain things or why he's doing certain things nothing mad right and then i'm i'm saying this i'm saying this i'm saying this at, at home and then people are like to me like oh you know you know he's not going to represent you because you're muslim and you're brown so what's what's the point like just leave it otherwise you won't get a job you won't get this you won't get that and that's the that's the mentality that i've been to. and i don't i feel sorry for them because it's it's what they've been told and probably to extend it is true it. Do you know what I mean? Probably to an extent, it is probably true. Like people will lose jobs because mm. of like speaking up when they're brown or speaking up when they're Muslim or speaking up when they're black. And you know, we're not we're not we're not guests in this country. We're citizens. We were born here. Do you know what I mean? So if if I need something from my country, if I need something from my, from my local MP who is elected in my constituency, yeah, I'm gonna ask and I'm gonna be loud about it. So yeah, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna go there and be quiet. I'm gonna be loud about it. I'm gonna ask. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's a mini, it's a, it's a mini run, yeah, but it's something I have to get off my chest because I think what people have to understand is that we don't, we don't exist to quietly make up any numbers. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and like, I, w- one thing I want to make clear is that our activism, if we care emotionally about things, is not any more dangerous or controversial than anyone else's activism. It's not more unwelcome than anyone else's activism. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I just want to say on behalf of everyone, like even my parents, yeah that who have been like made to feel like they just need to shut up and get on with it i'm not gonna shut up do you know what i mean Don't i want to make my silent. voice heard yeah. and I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna apologize for it either do you know what I mean? i'm not gonna go there and like oh i think this is wrong and this is right and then oh sorry sorry do you know what i mean like yeah, no. <laughs> who, who am i from do you know what i mean i'm kyoji <laughs> <laughs> no, i'm joking and the reason as i said before <laughs> the reason why i say it, yeah because I'm sensing hesitation from some of our friends. I'm sensing, you know what else? Okay, I'm, I feel like I'm ranting a little bit longer than I planned yet, but I will finish off on this in it. You know what else? Remember last week when I said, like, all those influencers and celebrities and politicians who only got involved in the conversation when they wanted to talk about anti-Semitism? Mm. I'm seeing friends do that as well. They don't have nothing to say about what's happening in Palestine. They don't have nothing to say about the protests. They don't have nothing to say about the, the, the airstrikes. They don't have nothing to say about the, uh, the forced evictions in Sheikh Jarrah. They have nothing to say about the blockade on Gaza. The moment, the only thing that I've ever seen them post is like, um, be careful of anti-Semitism. And I'm very, very, very clear, clear here, yeah? Anti-Semitism is wrong. Yeah, we know that. Everyone knows that. All forms of bigotry are wrong. And yes, you should condemn it. Yeah. But if it's the only thing that you've spoken about throughout this whole event, or a series of events that's happened, I'm looking at you suspectfully, like, suspiciously, like, you don't want to say anything, but this is the only thing you'll say. And I know it's because, you know, anti-Semitism is, is clearly, clearly very wrong. But I also believe that apartheid is very clearly, clearly wrong. Do you know what I mean? If you can see that anti-Semitism wrong, which it is, you must know that apartheid is wrong. You must know that uh, displacement is wrong. You must know that people being attacked in, in mosques and churches is wrong. No, You must know that protesters being hit with skunk water, water cannons is wrong. I mean, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing people play this, 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 this neutral line, and it's like, yeah, you can, you can have empathy for civilians and stuff like that, but the government is not a civilian. The government is not. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna go off. I, I don't wanna go off into a tangent in it, but like, it's it's just what I think in it. Like, I agree, I, bro. I said it. I said the same the thing. Line, I said the same thing last week about like um, people like um, not posting shit like. You know what I'm saying? Because oh. the other thing is, when they when you guys are posting, I see some of you posting that blue square on Instagram that says, like, say no to anti-Semitism. Fine, that's good. Say no to anti-Semitism. Why does that same blue square have hashtag I stand with Israel? Are you checking that before you, are you checking that before you post it on your story? Bro, what, what this, this is actually going on? Bro, apparently, yeah, there's a pro-Israel um fucking protest somewhere. Today, yeah, today. It's Anything today. Happened? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I've, I've, I'm refusing to engage with Zionists, you know, because I like what, what is there to talk about? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's not like they're gonna change their views, isn't it? There's nothing for me to talk about, but I'm, it's, this is, this is why I just wanted to say it. Number one, Muslims. Be gone. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no, this, this is just what I wanted to say it. Number one, Muslims and brown kids and black kids talking about issues that they care about is not dangerous. It's not radical. It's not all of this stuff it's just human empathy it's just human emotion do you know what i mean when i see when i see kids starving in like places like manchester even in london 
I'm furious at the Tory party. I'm furious. I want I want Bob Blackman to start fucking voting for the right side of history. I want him to start voting to feed the kids. The same way I want him to start voting to stop bombing the kids in Gaza. I want him to stop. I want him to start voting to let them kids live in their own home and give them their land back. Yeah. Because I, I don't view our kids and their kids as different lives. I don't play into this orientalism. Do you know what I mean? Everyone life's, is important. Life's a life, yeah. And then just the second part is like, to all the friends that who have just been hesitating, I see it. I, honestly, I do see it. And if I'm hurt by it, imagine how hurt the Palestinian people are, are by it. And just be careful when you're posting stuff like, yeah, it says say no to anti-Semitism, but most of those blue squares also say I stand with Israel. And that's the stance you're making, and I see that. Do you know what I mean? Because you say you so far you said you're gonna stay neutral, but have you? And 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 also the other people have been saying I'm I'm trying not to spread misinformation, <laughs> but. It says I stand with Israel, so I'm I'm guessing you fact checked that and you you look deeply. Into I like it going up on what they said. I like and going saw up that there and, and chose to post it. So now I know where you stand from. There you go. I mean, that's what I'm gonna say, man. I like I, li- I like this killed and it's pissed off, you know, man. You you say the shit that I want to say, it's, but it's not all of being it, pissed man. off, bro. I'm 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 hurt. That's the, that's yeah. the thing. That I'm tired of being told that like because I'm loud about something or I care about something, that's somehow dangerous. I'm tired of being told that like. Some things have to be treaded carefully and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Just because um, I'm emotional about something and I will do something in terms of political wise, I will like campaign with my MP, I will like spread awareness and stuff. It's not, it doesn't mean I'm going to do something mad, innit? Why is that? Do you know what I mean? Like, why, why does, is the twos are not, the two is not synonymous? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, bro, what's called? I remember like on one of my captions, I wrote Free Palestine in it, and someone commented on you saying, Tell me your anti-Semitism without telling me you're anti-Semitic. I'm like, bro, I literally said the words free Palestine. It just means a land of people who can live free. It was on TikTok. Yeah, who can live free away from apartheid, oppression, all these things. What do you have against that? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Or like, there's another one I was like, oh, someone was like, I was, I, I was like, um, it's probably best to stand against um, any any state who is like what's called who is oppressive and in a, an apartheid state yeah and then someone comments like oh so you think Israel should be destroyed I was like I didn't say anything you literally just throwing shit at me and I've not said nothing like that that is mad <laughs> oh, God. Do you know what I mean it's like it's like it's like bro if I say AB I think you should stop touching me yeah and you go you think I should die yeah, you, you, you think I should leave this country? You, you, think, I should, you, think, I should, you think I should you think I should back into my mother's womb? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's no need to talk about my mother's womb. <laughs> you know what I mean, isn't it? Like it's like you're just you're 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 stating things because you want me to say that when I when you know I don't think that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But just know, I'm not saying this randomly. There are a few names in my head. And like if you know it's you. Don't DM me. I don't like confrontation. <laughs> you could DM. You could DM the Titan page, and I'll reply. No, 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 no. no, no. Please, I, I please, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to. No, no, no. I'll just, do it. Just, I'll just, do just, it. just, ref, just, just, just. I've got time. On what, just reflect on what I've said, and that's it. Or and you can and if you still disagree, you can come DM the Titan page. I'll, I'll reply. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. no. Just, just reflect on it, uh, and start thinking about how you can improve. Do better. Do better. <laughs> Uh, I'm saying this with all with like a, a, a BTS background. Is that is that what the, what is that, bro? It's the new single butter out now. Go stream that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I just wanted to add here, yeah, like as I said, obviously, anti-Semitism is bad, and no one should engage in it, right? Actually, before that, the whole the whole like when I was talking about Orientalism, yeah, and like people being scared to talk about Palestine because they see Middle Eastern lives as different, yeah. It's paired with Islamophobia as well. If that if that point wasn't clear enough when I said like we were like teachers were kind of coming up to us while we we're talking about football saying like, you know, are you having a terrorist meeting? That was pure Islamophobia by the way, coupled with Orientalism. Um but yeah, the other point I wanted to make here is again, if everything that's happened in Sheikh Jarrah, everything that's happened in Palestine, everything that happened in Gaza, everything that happened in Israel, if the only thing you have to say about that is like don't be anti Semitic, which you should be saying you're 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 like feeding to this idea that like being anti-israel is anti-semitic because obviously it's not you know judaism is its own religion and obviously israel is, is a state with an elected 
leader who is very far right wing. Do you know what I mean? And <clears throat> what I want to make clear is, you know, people say like, you know, when you talk about Palestine, people will ask you to condemn an- anti-Semitism constantly because they want to link those two things. Mm. We know that being pro-Palestine is nothing to do with anti-Semitism. So stop asking us because you know that we we stand against anti-Semitism. I, I mean, think from now on, yeah, if when we speak when we speak about Palestine, I don't think we should talk about and being anti-Semitic. Because we, the two the two ideas made, are so different. Yeah. And we made as in like me and you, we made our stances very clear on um, Yeah, because because once we said it once, yeah, and we made that clear. If you keep bringing up the fact that like, if you keep saying stuff like, oh, um, just to be clear, you're not anti-Semitic, right? Go watch your old shit, man. If you want my old album, buy my old shit. Because now I know what, why you're doing it. Do you know what I mean, if it's like, for example, if I was um, talking against Saudi, yeah, and I start my, I start off with, oh, by the way, I'm not Islamophobic. I just think the Saudi regime is a piece of shit, which I do, by the way. Um, so no, but are you being, you're being Islamophobic now. I let, and uh, if and, and every five oh, can you say that can you say that without being Islamophobic? Yeah, you know I mean, and every five seconds, AB just kept coming up to you, so like, can I can I just confirm? Can I just confirm there's no Islamophobia, right? Yeah. Bro, you're 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 trying to you're forcefully trying to make the two things come together. So I mean, and I know people will see it from that point of view because some of them are Islamophobic, so you know. Yeah. They'll be like, yo, I need more of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're laughing, yeah. but it's true. But yeah, if if you want more on how, like the emotions I'm feeling right now so the people who have obviously follow me on my private Instagram you've seen on my Instagram but if you haven't go on YouTube type in audacity of equality there's a video of Hassan Minhaj uh, where he's talking about like how he was treated after 9-11 and all that stuff and there's a quote where he says I actually have the audacity of equality go watch it it's a very very powerful video I, I shed a couple of tears while watching it yesterday um, so yeah go watch that but yeah that's the end of it. And honestly, I'm, I was going to say we're not talking about this anymore, but we will talk about what's happening in Palestine more if we need to. But I'm not going to talk about this nonsense about like you know, people, people posting and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I had enough of it. Uh, Fuck all y'all. <laughs> <laughs>